Good day. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to talk today a little about Spravato. I'm Stephen Mandel. I'm the founder and president of Ketamine Clinics of Los Angeles. I've been doing ketamine infusion therapy for over five years. Now we have a new alternative, Spravato. Spravato is an isomer of ketamine. Ketamine has two isomers, an R and an S. Spravato is the S isomer. It's not a cousin. It's not ketamine light. It's not an analogous molecule. It's the same molecule or half of the 50-50 mixture that occurs in nature. Johnson & Johnson are actually a uh, Janssen, a wholly owned subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, was able to patent the S isomer. Isomers are mirror images of one another, but have a different shape and space, like your left hand and your right hand. They really are the same, but one has a thing on the left side and one has a thing on the right side. Spravato is the S isomer. The R isomer hasn't yet been patented by anyone, where he gave a mixture 50-50 of R and S, because that's how it occurs when you synthesize it. Anyway, there are some differences between the R and the S. They're both ketamine. They both work very much the same way. There are a lot of nuances, but in fact, the differences really are tremendously outweighed by the similarities. Spravato is administered by nasal insufflation. That's very different than intravenous infusion. Spravato is not as effective as ketamine infusion therapy. We don't know if that's because it's the isomer or because it's the route of administration. But I think almost all the smart money is on the route of administration. Spravato was also administered as in a fixed dosage. There are two possible dosages. And it's administered in intermittently. Uh, a, a treatment consists of two insufflations. Therein lies its limitation. We are finding increasingly, not only in this clinic, but in clinics around the country and around the world, that the dosage of ketamine needs to be tailored to the patient. And not only to the patient, but to the patient's familiar, familiarity with the treatment. The amount of medicine that's just perfect for somebody on their first infusion is nowhere near enough on their third or their fifth. So we need to be there adjusting to achieve an optimum dosage. Spravato does not have that flexibility. It's also somewhat cumbersome to receive because you've got to stay in clinic for two hours minimum. Uh, ketamine infusion therapy does not require such a long visit. It's wonderful that we have this approval. It's wonderful that Johnson & Johnson is encouraging people to get treatment for their depression and their suicidality with Spravato, although I don't think it's actually approved for suicidality, but it's good for that to the extent that it's also good for mood disorders. But it in no way eclipses regular racemic out-of-the-bottle ketamine it's much more expensive, it's much more cumbersome to receive. Uh, it's a great step forward. It's not yet going to displace the continuous nuanced administration of an intravenous drip. Some people wonder why Spravato has a much different effectiveness rate, about 43% to ketamine infusion therapy, uh, 80%. Well, you need to understand the differences in the same medicine produced by different routes of administration. When you give medicine in a vein, it's what we would call 100% bioavailable. It's available to the body. If you give 100 milligrams, 100 milligrams are available. If you give 100 milligrams up the nose, there's only about 40 milligrams in the bloodstream. 
That's a huge difference. So it may be that part of the difference in the effectiveness between nasally administered ketamine or spravato and intravenously administered ketamine or spravato, because spravato is given intravenously in Europe. The difference in the effectiveness is the difference in the route of administration, what we call the bioavailability. When you give medicine in the nose or in the mouth, or on the skin, it can still work. But the number of milligrams that are working for you in your body is way fewer than the number that were applied. When you give a medicine intravenously, virtually all of that medicine is available to work for you in your body. When ketamine is given as a lump, what we call a bolus, it, its availability in your body goes from zero to an enormous amount to a gradually tapering off amount as the medicine is redistributed to areas, of tissues in the body that absorb it, like fat and muscle, and thus make it unavailable take it out of the bloodstream, reduce the amount in the bloodstream and thus the amount crossing the blood-brain barrier and impacting your neurochemistry. So when you give ketamine continuously in the vein, you are able to maintain a steady state in the blood and thus in the brain. And your, your neuropharmacology, your the chemical soup in the brain can be relatively stabilized in, in pursuit of achieving the level that will optimally affect your experience and hopefully uh, your neuroplasticity. So people have asked if uh, it would be cool to go to a Spravato provider if he doesn't offer intravenous infusions instead because after all that's what he's good at that's what he knows how to do and it depends on what your choices are bravado treatment is way better than no treatment with one caveat if you do not benefit from bravado treatment don't go away thinking ketamine doesn't work for you you don't know that is Provado provides you with the relief you need from your depression or your suicidality. Wonderful. Great. If it doesn't, you need to try a more intensive ketamine treatment, an intravenous infusion. If that doesn't work in experienced hands, then you may safely conclude that you are one of the 15 to 20% who does not benefit from ketamine infusion therapy or ketamine therapy in general for the relief of your mood disorder, then you should move on to other alternatives. You should stay in the inquiry. This is not the end. I have patients who don't benefit from ketamine infusion therapy who say, well, now I guess I really have to seriously think about going forward with self-harm. No. You have to seriously think about other alternatives. There are numerous other alternatives. This is a treatment, not a cure. It's a wonderful, wonderful treatment because it's fast and it's safe and it's effective a great portion of the time. In our clinic, 83%. But if it doesn't work for you, that is not the end of the world. That's a signal to go and look further for other alternatives. So, I urge you to follow what's going on and to ask good questions and to make your own conclusions. We have Spravato providers. We are very happy to see it approved and available. And uh, we will provide for you what we think is best after consultation with you. I hope I've answered some of your questions. Welcome any others you have by email or telephone. Thank you for your attention.